What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word hacker? Is it the shady guy with sunglasses writing thousands of lines of code per hour, matrix style numbers floating around on the screen? Or maybe just an ordinary looking individual who hangs around in cafes and preys on people who are connected to an unsecured Wi Fi network? And while these sort of people do exist, there are times where the hacker himself isn't doing the heavy lifting, but instead they control a whole army of quote-unquote stolen computers from around the world. All those infected computers and other smart devices are known as a botnet. A good example of this would be the 2007 Bronze Night, where controversy and riots arose surrounding the relocation of the Bronze Soldier of Tallinn, a Soviet World War II memorial. During that time, Estonia's websites of the parliament, ministries, banks, media groups and other organizations were swamped with so much data that they overloaded and collapsed. That kind of attack is known as distributed denial of service attack, also known as the DDoS attack. Moreover, it is very difficult to filter out such attacks as blocking one IP address would not change a lot. The attacks were more like cyber rights than crippling attacks, and the technicians responded well, relaunching some services within hours or at most days. Estonia's incident found us an important lesson for the future. It was a wake-up call. The cyber conflict ahead Estonia pointed out the shortcomings of the international community, especially in terms of a clear definition of and a quick response to cyber attacks. Furthermore, the events showed that a successful cyber attack could disrupt the whole nation. Nowadays, even more resources have gone towards cyber protection, and with a cyber attack occurring every 39 seconds in the world, it is of paramount importance to a nation's security. One of the institutions that deals with cybersecurity is NATO's Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence, or CCDCOE for short, and is located in Tallinn, Estonia. Estonia proposed the concept for a cyber defense center to NATO in 2004, right after joining the alliance. The center itself was established in May of 2008. The aim of the Cyber Defense Center is to develop new cyber protection methods, concepts and improve technical solutions, as well as provide expert advice on cyber defense. The world was not changed by the cyber attack itself, but by how the Estonian politicians dealt with the matter. They had the courage to say that we got hit. Before that, no one really dared to talk about the cyber attacks publicly. It was only after the attacks that there was an understanding that NATO also had a role to play in the cyber sector.